In this video, we will walk you through the first start of your network RTK rover, ReachRx. First, let's check what's included in the package. ReachRx comes with a USB Type-C cable and a user guide. To start working with your ReachRx, you'll also need a smartphone or a tablet with the MLID Flow app installed. The app allows you to control the receiver and uses the internet connection on your device to access NTRIP corrections and send them to ReachRx over Bluetooth. MLID Flow is available for both Android and iOS devices. Download it from the App Store or Google Play Store. You can also find the download links in the description below. Before you start, check the battery level of your ReachRx with a short press on the power button. Let's turn on ReachRx and connect it using MLID Flow. Hold the power button for a couple of seconds and wait until the loading animation is over and the status LED becomes solid white. After that, enable Bluetooth on your device. Open MLID Flow and find your ReachRx. If your receiver has not been detected, tap the Can't Find Reach button on the Receivers tab and follow the instructions. Once you connect to the receiver, it'll blink two times and you'll see the receiver screen with all the available settings in MLID Flow. Now you can configure your ReachRx to receive network corrections. Before that, check the website of your NTRIP provider. Make sure that the service suits your needs. In MLID Flow, tap Correction Input and configure your ReachRx to receive network corrections over Bluetooth. Tap Add Profile and fill in the information from your NTRIP provider. Double check the credentials you entered. If the provider requires information about the receiver's position, for example, if you use a VRS service, enable Send Receiver's Position to the provider. Tap Save. Now you're ready to go to the field. Provide your ReachRx with a clear sky view to ensure good signal reception and a fair number of available satellites. To start surveying, you need to wait till the receiver gets a fixed solution. In other words, till it determines that the coordinates you see have a centimeter level accuracy. With ReachRx, it's easy. Watch the status LED color. White indicates a single solution status, which means that ReachRx doesn't receive corrections and has found the solution relying only on the satellite signals. In this case, the receiver calculates its position with the accuracy of a few meters. Yellow indicates a float solution status, which means that ReachRx is receiving corrections, but it cannot calculate its position with the centimeter accuracy. Green indicates a fixed solution status, which means ReachRx has calculated the solution and determined its position with centimeter accuracy. At this point, you can start surveying. You can also check the solution status in the upper right corner of the MLID Flow app and get more data by tapping the status bar. Usually, it takes ReachRx under 5 seconds to get a fix. With the fixed solution obtained, go to the Survey tab, Create or Import a Project, and start surveying. Thanks for watching.